final masking effect I'm going to show you in full more ago is the shadow effect. So for this, again, you're going to record two videos. You're going to record one video of you walking into a room with some lights on. Now make sure the light's bright enough to cast a shadow. You're going to be looking at the wall confused because in the second video, you're just going to be making some crazy shadow images on the wall. It'll become clearer when I show you the edit. Okay, so we're going to open the Filmorigo app and import our first video clip. We're then going to find the start of the video, use the split tool and get rid of the video before the start point. We're then going to hit PIP picture in picture and import our second video clip we're going to find the start point of that video use the split tool and get rid of all the video before that we don't need and drag the second video on the timeline to where we want the second video to start we're then going to resize the second video clip to make sure that it's exactly the same size as the first video clip and making sure the second video clip is selected we are going to choose the mask tool again and again choose the rectangle option for this video we're then going to drag our rectangle upwards and outwards so it's the right size for the second clip on top of the first clip okay so by using some feathering and adjusting the mask to the right place on the wall i've managed to make the shadow effect work now for this one what you're going to want to do is cut off the end of the second video clip so there's no mask or anything and then the first clip just plays as normal. Go to export, save the video to your phone or share straight to social media and that's how you use the masking tool to do a shadow effect in Filmora Go. So that's it for this one guys, three really cool masking effects that you guys can try in Filmora Go. I'll catch you in the next video.